Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, March the 9th, 2020, and this is episode 3,239. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Triple Play. Stay tuned. So, if my voice seems to have a little more bass tone to it, it's because I'm not feeling well. Yeah, and I'm sorry for this episode going out late, but as uh, soon as I finish this episode, I'll be going to see the doctor, you know. That's what my wife, Susan Elizabeth, has encouraged me to do, and so I'm going to take her advice and do that. Today's episode is called Triple Play. Now, when you think about the words triple play, you think about baseball, right? It's a great um, it's a great play in baseball, you know, triple play, three outs, and boy, the next team is up to bat. It's a powerful thing. This morning, I was going through my Facebook feed, and I saw a post by a dear friend, I'll just mention her first name is Terry. And Terry is uh, beginning her uh, chemo treatments today. And it was so encouraging to see people uh, commenting and showing her love and support and prayer. I went ahead and commented on her, on her post. And I shared with her that, that I pray for her every morning before my feet hit the floor. My wife and I pray for her uh, every evening. We pray before we go to bed. And uh, and then oftentimes while I'm out in the middle of the day, the Holy Spirit will bring her to mind and I can pray for her. It reminded me of a beautiful verse in Psalm fifty-five, seventeen. Let me read it to you. The psalmist said, evening and morning and at noon. I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. That's the triple play. Not just once a day, not just twice a day, but three times a day. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. I remember when I was a young preacher pastoring my first church, I went to a a pastor's conference up north and heard a a well-known preacher preach a message, and it was powerful. And he used this verse, and he actually spontaneously wrote a little chorus. It goes like this. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray Will I pray and cry aloud? And he shall hear my voice. He shall hear my voice. Evening and morning and at noon. I was doing a little Google search and I I found a devotion written in 1859 on this verse. Let me read some of it to you. The well-taught Christian carries everything to God and in so doing obtains relief, enjoys peace, and grows in grace. For all that we need, we should call upon God. And from all that we fear, we should flee unto God. At the close of every day, it is our mercy to call upon the Lord. We must make confession of sin and obtain pardon. We must carry to him our burdens and obtain relief. We must tell out before him our needs and obtain a supply. Oh, how precious it is to go to the Lord at the close of each day and tell him all that has vexed us, grieved us, cast us down, or disquieted our spirits. And how blessed to go to him each morning and seek grace to live holily 
and happily throughout the day. Nor is it less blessed to have a few minutes with God at noon, as it were, the day into and keeping short accounts with God. Oh, for a spirit of habitual prayer, that at evening and at morning and at noon we may cry and pray. If we were more with the Lord in prayer, we would have more strength to carry our crosses, more patience to bear our troubles, and more comfort amidst life's sorrows. So, evening, morning, and at noon, that's the triple play. That's my challenge to you today. Bring it to the Lord. Father, thank you so much for this day. I pray for Terry, Lord, as she and her husband go through this experience together that your presence and comfort and peace would be with them. Thank you, Father, for the joy of knowing that we can pray for others and that others can pray for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.